Hey, morning, Craig. So here at uh, 301 Fairway Boulevard. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tour of the outside before we stepped inside here. So you can see it's a, a <clears throat> larger home, roughly 3,000 square feet, located here on Fairway. You do have a pretty quiet street back in here uh, with the golf course being just across the street that direction. And then you do have kind of to your south there, you're gonna be pretty close to like Walmart, Pier Park area here in Panama City Beach, but a really nice neighborhood. <clears throat> Couple features on the exterior of the home. So you do have this circular drive here. So you can see my Tahoe sitting across over there. And then the two car garage, there's some mature trees <clears throat> and some nice homes next door. Um, this is gonna be a stucco and vinyl sided home. In regards to that, you can see that um, the driveway here does need a little fixing up um, in regards to the concrete, but obviously manageable in a nice size kind of front yard area. This is on about 0.3 of an acre lot. So plenty of room for parking as well as storage. You've got some mature trees in the back. That is actually some natural preserve back behind the house. And I'll show you guys the, the exterior of the house as well. But let me take you guys inside, show you guys around here. So you are looking at four bedroom, three bath. This does have two kitchens. Um, and so I know you mentioned that you wanted to kind of understand the layout of this. Um, and so I'll take you guys inside. Some nice pillars and, and tile flooring here on the front with the double doors that lead inside. All right, so taking you guys inside you kind of step into a main foyer area here. Um, there is a mixture of flooring throughout this home. So I will kind of point that out and show you guys as we, we tour through, but you can see that does have popcorn on the ceiling. There is some uh, noticeable kind of stains on the ceiling as well here, but a mix of paint colors as well. But as soon as you walk in the main foyer here, you're gonna lead into the laundry. And so this piece here will go to the backyard. There's actually three points of access into the rear um, of the home. And you can see here that they've done some patching on the ceiling there as well. But a, a nice size laundry room. Uh, I'll take you guys kind of to the left here when you first enter, because this, this has really three main living spaces with the two kitchens. So the layout is, is split in regards to those pieces. Um, so I'll take you on this side first, but you do have tile throughout on this side, a nice large room here, some columns as well. And then this is gonna be the first of two kitchens. So this is almost like a mother-in-law suite um, that's separating the home here. So you do have a smaller uh, kitchenette, so to say here. Does need some updates. You can see here in regards to the countertops and things like that. Um, it doesn't have like a full convectional oven in this piece. So it does have the stove and the small fridge. You do have a lot of counter space with this kind of bar top that sticks out, but it doesn't have a full convection. You do have a nice storage closet here on this side under the stairs here. Very deep. Apologize. There's not a light in this room, but it does sit back under the stairs as well. And then it kind of steps into more of a private um, double door bedroom here off the back of the home. So you can see that they're using this as potentially an additional space that does go into the backyard as well. So a good space, but again, as I mentioned, it, it does need some updating in regards to that. So you can see just a couple of broken tiles on the floor here as well. And then taking you upstairs, there is wood on these stairs. Um, doesn't look like a hardwood flooring, more of just a plank in regards to that. And then you do have carpet in this kind of upper piece here. So more of a loft space. Carpets do need to be replaced. They're pretty stained up as well. Does have good natural light um, in regards to that. And then there's attic entry as well.
taking you guys kind of back across the home. So we're gonna dive back across that foyer. Kind of down the hallway here. So one thing to mention um, in regards to that, and sorry, I'm gonna back back up, but there is not a bathroom on this side um, in regards to this space over here. So the closest restroom for that side of the house is gonna be located here. Which does have a small vanity as well as a tile shower. Tight space, but a fully functional restroom there. Down the hall, you're gonna find two bedrooms. So the first being here with tile in it as well. Kind of your standard eight foot ceilings, standard closet as well. And this will face the, the rear of the home. This closet here is gonna be the water heater does look newer um, and is uh, kind of positioned under the stairs here. So you do have two upper levels on each split of the home. Then again, to the left here, you do have a large size linen closet. And then a smaller closet here for this bedroom. This is almost a pass-through room, so it could be a, a very good bedroom or office space. It does have its own ensuite um, shower tub combo here. Again, tile on the floor. But as I mentioned, this does pass through. So as we come into this space, this is an additional living space that does go to the exterior of the home. This does also go into a screened-in porch space here, which is very nice. You can see the privacy fence and kind of the natural green space back behind. And then the space of the backyard there. Again, this could be used as a bedroom. Um, it does have the fireplace here. You can see some, some pretty good wear and tear um, on the ceilings here. Fireplace does not look like it's been used in quite a while, but it does have a large closet. And then through this door is gonna be the garage. And I apologize because this is the only functional light for this garage, but there is a two car garage here with a little bit of a larger space. So the actual garage space is gonna be back in this area. And then this be more of a workshop space here. A couple things to note um, just on this bedroom as well as you can see kind of the craftsmanship, so to say, in regards to the house. Then taking you back out, so we're back down the hall. Entryway is gonna be there to your right. Another sort of faux tile floor here. So that door there is gonna take you into the garage as well. And then this would be your main kitchen space. which goes out to the main living space. Carpet in this area. And this will be your main space where you have all of your natural light on the front of the home, so the big windows. taking you to the upstairs space here. So again, carpet kind of going up the stairs here. Lots of natural light up here, but this is gonna be your primary master. So it'll be upstairs. Off the front, you do have a loft space. 
which they are using for an office. And it does have the double fireplace. So you saw the fireplace below. There is also a fireplace up here. Great views from up here towards the golf course there. And then again, going into the main master, which would be up here. Different paint colors, different walls. Um, just something to kind of note there. There is some skylights within this upper space as well. Off of the main master here, you do have uh, a double vanity, a lower double vanity. Again, I apologize, there's no light um, functioning within this space, but you do have a, a deeper master closet. And then hopefully you can see the deepness of the large master closet kind of tucked back in there. Mirrored walls here in the master. Then you do have a large master bath space. So there is a skylight located in here, the tub shower combo in this space. So a nice large space um, in regards to the, the home itself. And so it does, of course, as I mentioned, need some updating in regards to that, um, potentially flooring and a, and a couple other things. And so I'll get this video to you guys. And then if you guys have any questions at all, please let me know.